video we'll discuss what is hub site in sharepoint online and also we'll create a hub site and we'll associate the sites into an hub and we'll discuss what are the advantages with the hub sites so hub site uh, the like the definition wise hub site is a place where we can put the sites together in one place which means hub site is a collection of sites which is connected to a master site from where all connected sites can be navigated and managed which means you uh, you will have a capability to create a one primary master site which is in a hub site and then we can add the other sites into that so once we add that and there is couple of advantages with the hub sites which are like the people can able to discover the related content uh, which is maybe you know uh, maybe a list items or maybe a news or maybe any any announcements which is done from the uh, sites which are associated with it and also we can create a common navigation and also we can create a common branding for all the sites which are associated with that hub and uh, and also uh, we can we can manage the other things like um, uh, if you if you want to share something or if you want to you know share content from uh, one site to another we can able to do that so first we'll discuss how to create an a hub site for example if you go to any of the site for example this is a communication site which i created already so if you go to the site settings you cannot able to see to create a hub site from the site itself but you can able to associate that we'll discuss if you go to site information so we can able to see hub site association and if you want to associate this site with other sites you can able to do it from here and uh, and if you go to settings also you cannot able to see uh, to create a hub site in the site settings we, we don't have any option for that but we do have an option from the sharepoint admin center in the admin center if you go here you can able to see the sites which are already created if you select any of the site now i have selected this one you can able to see a option hub in the navigation so here we have two options one is register as an hub site or you can associate this site with a hub so you can do anything for example if you are trying to create a new site and that time also it will not give you any option to create an a hub site if you go to the communication site if you go to advanced settings here we don't have an option to you know create a hub site so uh, now i'm just giving a name for test now here i'm i'm giving a site name called as um a site now when i when i click this one when i go to this option site owner i'm giving name as support and then um, the language everything is good when i click finish and it will create a site for us but there is no option to create this site as in a hub site so now i already have couple of sites and i'll create a hub site to create hub site first you need to select the site and go to this hub option and register as a hub site so here you can give a different name hub site hub name which is solutions if you want to keep same thing or if you want to change you can and if you want to add people to this hub like people who can associate uh, sites with this hub you can able to add the users here and i'm just uh, typing rishan solutions we have rishan solutions here then select and if you want to add more users like uh, we have the support account and uh, select this one and click save what it will do is it will create a hub site now you can able to see save successfully make this site into a hub to connect related sites and give them a shared experience so now it is done i am closing this one if you select any any of these sites for example i am going to this new site and if i click this one i can able to see this associate with a hub and if you click this this and here uh, edit hub association and select a hub so here which is showing none and then we have this solutions hub when we click this solutions and we can able to save so before that we'll we'll close this one first and we'll come back to here uh, do you want to save this in just no and um, i'm closing this one do you okay it's okay now i'm going back to this place and this is a solution site and we'll try to open this new site click this site address and it will open the new site now here before making this association i'll do some changes here uh, in the quick launch i'm changing the look of this site um, i'm selecting some of this 
I'll try to out. I'm just changing the theme of this site and we'll try to add some navigation links and we'll make the new site also into this association now which is done now I'm going back to home and in the home we have few of the navigation now I'll click edit I will try to add one navigation here so here I'm just adding bing.com as an external one and the name is bing and uh, click ok now we will have that here now the bing is appearing here so we we just quickly change it to some uh, you know, theme and the navigation here i'll go back to this news i can i can able to associate from here as well to you know add this into an hub so associate with hub or if you go back here and then you can able to see this site action gear so inside that you can able to see site information and earlier we have two Two hub sites now we have three which is created uh, just before i'm selecting this solution and then when i click save now this new site will associate with the hub site now you can able to see this and i'm not changed any theme in this site uh, but i can able to see the theme is appeared but the navigation is not yet set to this one and we have to update that from the navigation uh, which is called hub navigation that will do in the next video so this way what you can able to do is you can able to create an hub hub can be created from admin center which is a sharepoint admin center and to associate any of the site to the hub you can able to make it from the you can able to make it from the admin center and also you can able to do it from the site action gear which we did so if you go here and you can able to see site information and then from there also you can able to also associate a site to a hub or you can do it from here so here also you'll get an option you can select this one and you can click save now this is the changes are saved so which means now in this hub you can able to see the three sites were available and if you come back here in the admin center you can able to see a hub option in the active sites now the hub you can able to see this is a, a communication site and uh, this is this two into solutions this is into a different hub and this two into different hub but we made three if we refresh we can able to see that third uh, site also which is associated with the uh, which is associated with the hub which we created now i'm selecting this and now you can able to see the hub and here these two are associated with the hub site now you can able to see the solutions is in a hub site and if anything is in a hub site and which is you know uh, specifies in the parenthesis so this way you, we can able to create a hub site and we can able to associate the sites into a hub in the next video we'll see how we can manage the hub navigation and also how we can manage the content within the hub sites and how we can you now make them available in the search within the hub